What's going on guys, my name is Palpatine Bricks. Today we're going to be comparing and looking at the most popular LEGO Star Wars sets being the gunship against the ATT all sealed in box. Going to have a look at the boxes, the years, the pieces, the minifigures and much more. Let's check it out right now. In this video, we're going to have the latest LEGO Star Wars gunship and at -AT, the one in the middle from 2016, the 2014 ATT and gunship, the 2008 gunship and ATT, and the 2003 ATT and gunship. So we're going to take a look at those all right now. We're going to start from the newest to the oldest to create some suspense on the sets themselves. Check it out right now. The first LEGO style set that we're going to be starting off with is the 75337 ATT Walker. Now this was released in 2022. It has eight minifigures including Commander Cody, two 20 second troopers, three of those and then three battle droids. This set by itself was extremely popular. I did buy three of these myself. They're in my collection and I think it's a very good set for its year and a lot of people definitely bought this set so I'll buy it before it gets retired. This set also has a swivel cannon at the top like normal and also a little handle to pick it up and connect it to an ATOT. Now finally, I think this set is a 8 out of 10. It could be a little bit better, maybe a different, you know, sort of style of the clone troopers. Maybe a full Captain Rex squad that would have made it a 10 out of 10. Other than that, I would definitely recommend you guys buying this set. Now, let's take a look at the gunship from the same year, actually 2023, right now. Now, this is the Coruscant gunship released in 2023. And what's weird is that LEGO has actually released two different styles of gunships in the entire lifetime. So, an at, -AT and a different gunship. So, we've got the Coruscant gunship and also on the left corner, the ATT Captain Rex. ATT, so it's a bit different. This set includes Chancellor Palpatine, Padme Amidala, Commander Fox, Coruscant Guard, and another Coruscant Guard. I do like the simplicity of the box art. Set number 75354. It is nice and sleek. It does show the minifigures at the front in the gunship, but within itself, this gunship is pretty small if you've seen on different pictures. But other than that, it's a pretty nice set. The back of the box also looks extremely nice. It does have those original opening guards there and all the minifigures displayed at the back. Some stud shooters at the back. You can actually lift it up just like that by the middle. Then you can actually shoot the stud shooters, open up the back hatch and the side hatch doors. So that's really cool. This is a really nice gunship. If you're on a budget, this is definitely a gunship that you should get. I know it's not the original gunship, but it is a gunship nevertheless. Let's take a look at the next year in line. Now the next year in line is actually 2016 and this was a little bit of a weird one to be released in that year. It's not a original style, you know, ATT, but it's Captain Rex's ATT. So if you guys have watched Star Wars Rebels, you will know what this ATT Walker is. It includes an Imperial Inquisitor, Fifth Brother, Stormtrooper, Commander Gregor, Captain Rex and Commander Wolfie. It is that colored ATT, so it's not your typical normal ATT. It's set number 75157, and this is long retired, so you can't definitely buy this set. Now, I've got that one in my collection, as well as two 2014 ones and a 2008 one somewhere. But this is definitely a weird one for this year, like the Coruscant Guard Gunship in 2023. Now the back of the box doesn't have that much detail, but it does show you a lot of the features of the set. I actually think this is one of my favorite ATTs because it's a pretty unique and it's a fun little set to build. It has a handle, it has a opening hatch at the top, it has an interior, it has a crane, it has a cockpit and a mounting cannon. A lot of things in the set, a lot of playability, and I definitely think you should cop this one before it skyrockets even more since it's only one of a kind. Let's take a look at the next year which is 2013. Now 2013 welcomed us with two releases of these amazing sets. First being the 75021 Republic Gunship, which a lot of people still say it's one of the best gunships ever released. It is the not the Clone Wars version, it is the Star Wars movie version. So there's Anakin Skywalker, Padme Amidala, Obi-Wan Kenobi, a clone pilot, clone trooper captain, and two super battle droids. Now this gunship by far is one of the best ever released. By far, it does it by a long shot. It has a lot of details, it has a lot of stickers, which is not that great, but it has updated minifigures, a poster inside, and a lot of goodies. 
Now then on the right, we've got the 75019ATT. Now this set was released in a three in one super pack, which I'm not gonna include in this video. I do have it in my collection, but it's not an official ATT as I suppose in this video. It has 794 pieces, five minifigures, including a battle droid, commander, a battle droid, Mace Windu, Coleman, Trevor, and clone trooper commander. The box art for these two sets are extremely similar. It has that little dark tan tint and it has the green little Yoda in the corner, which indicates it being 2013. Now back of the ATT, it shows you the playability of the set, 360 view, a little picture of it on battle, opening up the back hatches, a handle of course, and a shooting flick firing cannon. The gunship also has a 360 angle, some latches opening up from the back, we got a speeder, a little picture of Anakin Padme and Obi-Wan at the back, a little handle for the gunship as well, and a little scene of them fighting the battle droids. I think it's a really nice little addition to 2013, and so far I think it's a bit weird that LEGO Star Wars has released an ATT and gunship the same year every single time, except for 2016, but let's take a look at 2008 right now, which is my personal favourite. Now 2008 is definitely that golden era of LEGO Star Wars with a lot of Clone Wars sets came out. I mean you've got Commander Code and Captain Rex in two sets in the same year. I don't think it gets much better than that in terms of LEGO Star Wars. Now starting off with the right is the entire gunship and this box is actually pretty long for the set itself. It has Obi-Wan Kenobi, Plo Koon, Asajj Ventress, Commander Cody, and a Clone Trooper. So this is the Clone Wars version, so it doesn't have the bubbles on the sides, so it actually just mirrors the Clone Wars version. It has a speeder, Asajj Ventress, fighting them there, and unfortunately no droids or anything like that in this set. ATT, on the other hand, has a Battle Troid, a Clone Trooper, a Rex, a Rhoda minifigure, Ahsoka, and Anakin Skywalker, which is also accurate to the Clone Wars when they were climbing that wall in that movie and it's really cool to see that old speeder right there and the old box art just makes me so nostalgic please let me know in the comments below which year so far you guys think is the favorite or the best for you because I definitely think the 2008 takes the cake then second place maybe 2014 let's take a look at the back of these models right now now the back of the models of these are pretty simple, it just shows you the playability in the old school shooter right there, which is really cool, 360 angle of that turret, opening the front and back latch and the seated place for the minifigure. Then a couple of the old sets like General Grievous's ship, the Z19 torrent and the gunship which is right here. Now this one's vice versa, so the ATT, the torrent, and the gunship, and then we've got a couple pictures of those sliding doors, opening the capsule, taking out that little thing, shooting those flick fire missiles, opening up the top, and the speeder, and the latch at the top. Unfortunately, 2008, they didn't have any handles or anything like that, and they're actually quite fragile. I've got four of the 2008 gunships actually open, so I do know how fragile it is. Actually, a cool story is I ended up dropping the gunship on the floor and smashing it into a million pieces and losing the Captain Rex. But enough of that, we've got the last 2003 LEGO Star Wars wave with the first original ATT and gunship. Now, I can definitely see the nostalgia factor of these sets, but I can also see a lot of flaws in the design, the look, and the playability of all these models. Now the ATT is in that set number 4482 and it also included four clone troopers, no bad guys or droids I would say, and it's really not that accurate to the actual movie. The gunship on the other hand, 7163, did include three droids or technically two droids and a super droid with Jedi Barb and clone trooper. Now these bl blue super battle droids actually go for $50 each nowadays, so this set is actually valuable for its minifigures, but it is based on Attack of the Clones, the whole set. And I can also see the nostalgic factor of this year model, but I just can't see the design factor of the sets at all. And I think they are good that they've been updated, but they can stay as originals. But what's really cool about this year is actually they included these little builds at the back. And I'm not sure still how to get those instructions for those alternate builds. But it also shows you a little battle of all these sets in that year 
which I do have in another video if you guys want to see that let me know and also the gunship also shows you that you can actually build a freaking jet from this set which is really cool it does have a lot of playability and like opening up the hatch which I never understood but there's a lot of playability in these old sets and it shows you off the old sets. Thank you so much for staying to the end of the video. I appreciate it a lot. It helps my family, my Lego collection and a lot of more things. Please let me know in the comments below again which Lego Star Wars Gunship or ATT you would pick. And finally, if you prefer ATT or Gunship. Please let me know in the comments below. See you guys in the next video. And thank you so much for watching.